obviously. 24 minutes out of my phone. And me and VJ, we go clubbing, obviously. I want to go clubbing with her when I go one-on-one, meeting her in Los Angeles, obviously. So we, after we eat our food, we can go back to the hotel. We can take a shower, obviously, another shower if we want to. Or we can, or, you know what I'm saying? And, we, and from there, we go to what? We go to the, we go to the club, obviously. Hey, VJ, do you know any top, top, top notch clubs here in, in Los Angeles? Yeah, I, mean, I know I know a few top clubs here in Los Angeles. Me and VJ go to the top club, top notch club in Los Angeles. You're looking at something top notch, obviously. When me and VJ enter the club, everyone around the city will be staring at us. We're going to be taking pictures and videos, trends online. The whole world's watching those trends. Me and VJ are being to fill on top of the world. We're famous celebrities. So me and VJ were famous celebrities, except it's it's behind the scene fame. You see what I'm saying here? Me and VJ were famous celebrities. But it's behind the scene fame. So you know how when you see celebrities in the public, oh, you see a bunch of paparazzi from bar them? Well, picture something like that for me and VJ, except it's a bunch of people, it's a random person with a phone. A bunch of people with their, with their phones, they're taking all these pictures and videos. We're famous celebrities, but it's behind the scene fame, yeah. So me and VJ are about to enter the club. The people are going to take pictures of I and VJ. Look at I and VJ, are about to enter the club, obviously. Look at them, they're so good together. The perfect couple, obviously. You know what I'm saying? VJ looks gorgeous. I'm saying Ivan looks handsome, I'm saying. You gotta see how top notch of, of, of what? You're gonna see how, you're gonna see how top notch what? How top notch of, of, of what? Of a what? Of, of, oh my god, I mean, I want you to see those trending pictures of me and VJ entering the club. You know what I'm saying? We're about to go inside the club and everyone's taking pictures of I and VJ. That's when you world will begin to miss you you world will begin to miss my missus. Oh my god, I haven't totally forgot while I was missing the series. He's now king, he's a famous celebrity, he's a multi and now he's living the life of his wife. Yeah. Once I am king and wife's with me, me and her are never looking back. We're gonna be living the amazing life. Obviously, and um, this series that you're seeing now, this poor Ivan that you're seeing now, man, you're gonna miss him a lot as once I am king and wife's with me. You guys see the future. Me and her are totally gonna forget about our old life. We're gonna totally gonna forget about our stupid sabotage channel. As me and Vija are inseparable, we're going to be living the amazing building our life, multiple in our life. We're going to be living an amazing life in our personal life. The same as book sales, something crazy. So you also, you have the fame of me and her being here, and you also have the, the fame of the same as book sales. So fans coming up to me and asking me and her for pictures. Hey, I have an original book, I have pictures of you and Vija, I'm saying we take pictures of them, obviously. And you also have what? You also have the fame of us being together. So constant trends online. Yeah, you're looking at something fucking crazy. You're looking at crazy, crazy trends. You know, me and Vijay go to the club, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna see me and Vijay looking fly because I'm gonna I told you I'm gonna buy some clothes in Ottawa when I when I when I stay at the hotel for 10 days. You're gonna see me looking pretty fly wearing some nice clothes. You're gonna see VJ. VJ obviously got some nice clothes. You're gonna see me and her entering the club. Oh my god, look at I and they, they look so they look so they look so fly. They look pretty fly, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And then you're gonna see me and Vijay, you're gonna see me and Vijay in the club, obviously. Me and Vijay in the club. You know what I'm saying? Me and her, me and her have a good time. I, hey, Vijay, let's, let's, you want a shot? Me and her take a shot. We go to the club, we go to the club, we dance it off. You, you see me dancing, you see Vijay dancing, you know what I'm saying? He looks like top notch, man. You see me dancing, you see Vijay dancing. You know what I'm saying? And why? And guarantee when me and her dance, we're going to make out hardcore at the club, man. You look at something top, something, something fucking crazy. Me and Vijay are going to make out hardcore at the club. And Vijay, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Ivan, I know me and you are going to be make out so hard. Oh, yeah, man. Me and you are going to make out hardcore at the club, man. You're looking at something fucking crazy, man. You're looking at something fucking crazy. Right? Me and you are going to make out hardcore at the club, man. You're looking at something fucking crazy. You're going to see me dancing. You know what I'm saying? VJ dancing. And guarantee when we dance, me and VJ are going to, you're going to see us. You're going to see VJ. So when VJ makes out, you're going to see her grab my neck. She, 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 she just like caresses my neck and you're gonna see me and her making out hardcore man something intimate something hot and very intimate too oh my god i and Vijay are so intimate together yeah man it's so intimate that even those men who bang Vijay will feel like shit because ivan and vj are the perfect couple obviously when you see me and Vijay together you're gonna feel like oh my god look at i and vj making out hardcore they're so good together you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying because they're the perfect couple so even those men who bang Vijay will feel like shit because they know they got ripped off they got their trashy sticky sex and their spirit ran away and I even gets a VJ with a glowing beauty, obviously. And you're going to see me and her making out the club hardcore. Even those guys in Hollywood feel like shit. Oh my God, look at I and They're so perfect together. All those women who banged me who got their rip-off sex songs, they're all going to feel like shit. Oh my God, look at I and me. They're so good together. They're so intimate. Yeah, man, because me and VJ are very, very intimate together. You're going to see how intimate you're gonna see how intimate we are together. Obviously, you're looking like fucking crazy, obviously. Right? And 
once you see what. And the moment you see those pictures of me and VJ, and when me and VJ make out, everyone in the club's going to be staring, obviously. They're all going to feel like shit because I and VJ are the perfect couple. And you're going to see people taking pictures of me and videos of me and VJ making out. Now we trying online. And you guys are feeling like, so everyone else I is just watching. Everyone in the club is staring at us when me and VJ are making out hardcore. Everyone's taking taking out the phones, taking pictures and videos. That's all trending online. Oh my god, look at IV so intimate. You're gonna see videos and pictures, obviously. And then what? You're gonna see videos and pictures, and the whole I mean I also know the whole world is watching those pictures. Oh my god, look at IV making out hardcore. They're so intimate together. Yeah, man. You're gonna see me and VJ making out hardcore. Oh my god, look how intimate they are together. You're looking at something fucking crazy. Because me and VJ are inseparable, obviously. Now once we, the clubbing's over, me and VJ, we go to the, we go back to our suite, we hook up again, you know what I'm saying? That's how it's when we are together. Guaranteed after we, after we had it, we were a little bit, we were a little tipsy at the, tipsy at the club. When me and VJ go back home, we're going to hook up again then, because we're fucking intimate together, obviously. And then the next day, we'll stay in Los Angeles for, for another day. Me and VJ can hang out in Los Angeles. We can chill in Los Angeles, go to another bar restaurant, go to an event. If there's an event in Los Angeles, me and VJ can chill on an event. I'll stay in Los Angeles for two days, and after those two days, me and VJ will fly to Vancouver and we'll immediately register for a Scotiabank debit card and Visa. And the more VJ registers for Scotiabank debit card and Visa, she'll be like, oh my God, Ivan, look at all this money we have. And I'm saying, Ivan, let's go to this clothing store. Let's buy these shoes. Let's buy these clothes. You know what I'm saying? Ivan, let's buy our yacht. Let's buy our jet. You know what I'm saying, you're going to see how excited VJ is. You know I'm saying, Ivan, let's build that dream condo. You're going to see how excited VJ is. I'm like, yeah, sure, VJ, let's, buy, let's just, just do all this. You know what I'm saying, I go to the store with her, I go on a huge clothes shop, and we buy all these clothes. Shoes, we buy our nice yacht. I want to do sleepovers around the yard. We go out in the ocean, you know what I'm saying? We listen to music and we and we what? We have an amazing time and we make out, we have a good time. Me and VJ give a toast. Hey, VJ, cheers to the future. Me and you, king, queen, forever in this world. We're ruling over the world, you know what I'm saying? Me and you, the creators of the universe, are ruling over the world. Me and you, the creators of the universe, me and you, the creator, me and you, the creators of the universe, we're reading, we're ruling over the world and we're now what? Ruling over the world and now what? And now and now and now the whole world is left behind. Yeah. Me and VJ are gonna what? Me and VJ are gonna what? Me and VJ are going to what? We're going to what? We're gonna be living up we're gonna be living the amazing life, obviously. I wanna do I wanna do sleepovers in the yard during during those two months, obviously. And me and VJ we're, we're gonna make plans for building our one hundred with the condo. We're also gonna hire George Lucas to help us start Skype Source. And you guys will see the trends. You are, oh my god, when you see the trends of Ivan and, and George Lucas, you guys will be like, oh my god, Ivan really is starting Sky Source. Yeah, I'm gonna start Sky Source. I'm gonna make that amazing Last of Us Angels story. That, that amazing Last of Us Angels movie. You look at the Dell himself for Eric Ted. And I'm also gonna have that film that amazing documentary. Look at something top notch. Obviously. And once the two months are over and we plan Sky Source, the offices are getting built, the 100 million with our cons getting built. Bar Jet, me and wife can now take our one year vacation. This is my plan. I have never even planned out. Yes, I haven't even planned out. After we, we those two months we plan Sky Source, we and wife can take our year off and we travel to like, I don't know, eight countries. I want to travel to Japan, Switzerland, and uh, Dubai. And guaranteed, I'm going to be checking out clubs in all those countries. In Switzerland, I heard Europe has amazing clubs. Switzerland, Japan, I heard Japan has good clubs too. So, uh, Japan is Tokyo. There's probably good clubs there, obviously. As well as what? Dubai. Dubai is, is, is must have good clubs too, obviously. Me and VJ are going to check out events and clubs in all those countries, obviously. And when me and VJ hang out in all those countries, everyone around, around the city is staring at us, taking pictures, trans line, the whole world's watching that. When me and her go to events. So think something like Coachella. You know all you have Coachella, you have thousands of people there? Well, think, me, think of me and wife going to a crazy event like that. All these people there, right? And everyone at that event staring at us, because we're the perfect couple, obviously. And everyone's taking pictures and videos of us. Everyone around the world is staring and looking at those trends. That's why me and VJ are going to feel so on top of the world, man. We go to those clubs. We're going to make out, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Pictures, trends online. Everyone's staring. The whole world's watching. Yeah, it looks like fucking crazy. As every time we reach a club, we're guaranteed going to make out. The reason why we're going to make out is right into it. I also want to rub in your faces. Because you guys are fucking wicked people, man. I want to rub in your faces. Because you cause mess in my life with my wife. You also cause mess in my life. Hence, when I'm king and queen, I'm going to rub in your face. I want to make out hardcore with my wife, intimacy, just to rub in your face. I am that's evil. No, it's not evil. I am killing you with kindness. But you guys are fucking wicked people, obviously. Listen, when you see me and my wife make out hardcore in the club, you, all the couples and the people in the club will feel like shit. So I and Ouija are the perfect couple, obviously. When you see me and her hanging out together, me holding her, 
you feel like shit because me and Vijay are the perfect couple, obviously. It doesn't get any better than Ivan and Vijay. Ivan and Vijay are the perfect representation of what? The god gene, obviously. Vijay is a perfect representation of a goddess. I am the perfect representation of God. You see what I'm saying? And we're the perfect couple, obviously. And so when you see me and Vijay go, these are because me and Vijay are definitely going to check out clubs in all these countries that we visit. We're going to check out events. We're going to hang out. We're going to go to these restaurants. When we do all that, everyone's staring. Everyone takes pictures. A lot of people take pictures and videos. Trying online. Every, the whole world's watching. Looks at me crazy. Constant trends online. Yeah, you look at something fucking crazy. That's how amazing of a life me and Vijay are going to live, man. Me and Vijay are going to live the amazing life. Hence why my wife is so proud of me. Because I fucking saved your fucking ass, sweetheart. I saved your ass. In spite of your mess. Even though I, even though your mess really pisses me off. And sometimes I feel like running away. I don't feel like being with you sometimes. No, I'm joking. Even though the mess really pisses me off. And sometimes I just feel like running away. I would never leave you, sweetie, obviously. Because I love you so much, obviously. See? I, you're, you're fucking lucky. I was, I was one that I saved your fucking ass. And it's because of me, you had to like, be a billionaire. I suffered death for you. I cry all those heavy tears. I suffered death for you. I, I had to have, I, you know what I'm saying? I had sex with my stepmother for you. And so VJ is obviously, she appreciate me more because of what I did for her, obviously. I suffered death for you and I had sex with my stepmother. I think I answered your question. I, I did all that for you because I love you, sweetie. That's how much I love you, obviously. That's why. That's why VJ will really, really appreciate, appreciate for you. I, mean, I appreciate you much, you know. I appreciate you so much for what you did for me. Yes, man. She appreciates me so much because she knows I fucking won. She knows I fucking suffered death for her, man. She knows I suffered death for her. You see what I'm saying here? Right? That's why when she sees me, she's going to tear up. But I'm also going to tear up because I know I just came back from death to be with my wife, obviously. Because you, you world are fucking crazy psychopaths. You're nothing but a mess of life, man. You guys don't see your craziness now, but once I come from death, it's fine. going to hit your minds. Yeah, we're, we're fucked up people. Yeah, man. You guys are fucked up people. You want to do anything just to prevent my relationship from happening. You want to even destroy, purposely destroy my relationship all because of your envy. Because you're fucking wicked people and you're selfish people. And kill an innocent man. You didn't do anything wrong, man. I'm a fucking good man. I, don't, I didn't do anything wrong. You know what I'm saying? When I get money, I get beer, I get smokes, I watch stuff on TV. I didn't do anything wrong. I finally later on, I have to be a porn star. And I said to my, with my son, I'm going to die. My wife. I didn't do anything wrong. Because you guys are fucking crazy people, man. You're nothing but a mess of life, man. I have to share too. A virgin man who's every relationship has to share for the rest of life. You guys are fucking crazy psychopaths. You're nothing but a mess of weird made, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Anyways, to end it off before I start talking about Sky, as usual. Obviously. I will what? I will what? Yeah. And all those pictures that you see of me and Vijay, you're going to see me and Vijay trending online constantly. And even guys like Justin Bieber, Drake, Eminem, you know what I'm saying, Rihanna, Selena Gomez, all these famous celebrities in Hollywood, all these big celebrities in Hollywood, even they will feel like shit because they're now the side attention, obviously. So the moment they start seeing those trends of me and Vijay in Los Angeles at the club making out, me and Vijay going to, in Vancouver with George Lucas, me and Vijay uh, going to other events all in another country, even guys like Justin Bieber, you know what I'm saying, Selena Gomez, even then, Drake, even those guys will be like, and Timberlake, even those guys will be looking at the trends of like, shit, man, looks like I mean, you're having a blast. Because those celebrities supposedly live a life, obviously, right? Because they're not free, obviously. They're millionaires and they're living a life, and even those guys still feel like, shit, why? Because they're, they're not the main show. They're the side attention, obviously. See what I'm saying here? Even guys like Justin Bieber, Taylor, oh my god, I wish I could be with Aiden and Vijay and be a part of their fame. Be a part of their fame and glory, because, because why? Be part of their fame and glory because what? Because 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 with the side tension now, it's a shitty feeling left by yes. Even those Hollywood celebrities will feel like shit. Even they will feel a ban and left behind my god because me and my wife are that big, obviously. As the whole planet is tuning into our trends every day, whereas only I don't know, 100 million, 80 million, 10 million, 3 million are tuning into all these celebrities' lives every day, obviously. Whereas the whole planet is tuning into me and my wife's life every day. Hence why they uh, they all feel left behind a ban. It's a shitty feeling. It's a, they're the side tension now. It's a very shitty feeling, obviously. Because Ivan Vijay, because Ivan's the son of God, and Vijay's the spirit of God, they are the main show, as those actors are now, those Hollywood celebrities are now the side attention. And so they feel like shit, obviously. And that's how amazing your life and we're going to live. And you guys are going to regret your decision. You're going to wish that you, you're going to remember that glory that you saw when we were going, oh my God, we made the wrong decision. Yeah, man. You made the wrong decision. You saw that amazing glory, and you let your devil enemy take over. And it's too late. You killed an innocent man. You purposely caused a mess in him, him and his wife's life. It's so when he's king and his wife's king with him, he's peaceful on his wife, and the whole world's left behind a bad man. God, I'm not going to do like that, obviously. 
and you get what you fucking deserve. No more to say there. Anyways, I have about nine minutes left on my phone. I'm going to talk about Sky Stories again, okay? As usual. So all you actors chosen for Zanies, you actors all know who you are. You actors are the lucky chosen ones who get to experience the international success and fame with King Ivan and Queen Vijay. You guys are the lucky ones, obviously. And you're looking at an amazing story for that as Eritad is literally the devil himself. You're looking at the devil himself for Eritad. Eritad is literally the devil himself. And you, the actors already know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Ivan, we can see the future. We know when, you know, we already know what Eritad looks like. Yeah, you guys already know how Eritad looks like. You know how horrific Eritad is. You're looking at the devil himself. You know how you know how horrific the bats are, the wolves are, Ephesus. You know how Thomas River movie last one was like, Yeah, Ivan, we know how Thomas was, yes. And you actors are lucky, obviously. For the Great Escape movie, I have two actors chosen for that movie. Paul Bettany and the actor for Country Old Men. I want to pay him a nice $11 million for the role, which is nice, obviously. I'm not going to hire enough for him. He's a small A, so I'm not going to hire an $11 million for him. And the other actor who was in Country Old Men, I'll pay him like $5 million for him. Because he's kind of, he's like a rising star kind of guy. He's in Dune, you know what I'm saying? He, he, you don't really see him in much movie. He's like a rising star kind of guy. So pay him like $5 million for the role, which is nice, obviously. He'll play the role as one of the hitmen, obviously. The three actors who are most likely chosen for, the, for for my Great Escape movie, obviously, will be Keanu Reeves, Ben Affleck, and Scarlett Johansson. So Keanu Reeves, I'm going to pay him a nice $40 million for the role, a nice $16 million signing bonus, and a nice $24 million salary. Obviously. And if his agent's greedy and he wants to remind him, look, man, I'm not paying you any more money. If you don't like my offer, go back to Hollywood, go back to being your slave. And make sure it means you like my offer. I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna keep putting all these actors in the pickle. And that's where we were like, oh, Ivan, oh, I accept your deal. Because I put him in the pickle, like, you know what I'm saying? Because they all want to be my movie so bad, they want to be safe. I'm saying, even though you're greedy, you're very generous, you won't pay you a lot of money. Yes, even though I'm greedy, I'm very generous, I want to pay you a lot of money, obviously. Spread Africa, I'm gonna pay him a nice 36 million for the role, a nice 22 million dollar salary, a nice 14 million dollar signing bonus. And again, if his agent's greedy, he's not getting a piece of more royalties, as he is not worth it, obviously. If you don't like my offer, go back to Hollywood, go back to being your slave and, and being a dirty slave if you don't like my offer, obviously. And Scott Johansson. And Scott Johansson, I want to pay her. Pay her a nice $38 million for the role, a nice $15 million sign bonus, and a nice what? $23 million salary. Obviously. And if her agent's greedy, because I know these guys are big A's hackers, they're, they're sharks. If your agent's green and you want a piece of my royalties, you are not getting a piece of my royalties, as nobody is worth my royalties. So the only reason why the whole world's buying the 4K Blu-ray movies and posters is because of me and my wife. They're not buying the posters because of you, obviously. But very unique, KJ Appa, he is a lucky chosen one for that movie. I'm going to pay him a nice $3 million for the role. I'm not going to hard enough for him. If his agent wants $5, $6 million, I'm not paying his previous actor $5, $6 million. If he doesn't like my offer, go back working intelligent and making your $800, $900,000 of intelligence if you don't like my offer, obviously. Because I put, has to be like, oh, I'm not accept your deal. Because I put all these actors in the pickle, obviously. He'll be playing a role on my best friend, Jake. So Jake and Josh are best buddies. Me and him are going to have lumberjack beers. We're best friends. We're buddies in the movie. We're buddies in the movie. And the moment Jake meet, Josh meets Don, that's when Jake's envy nature grows. And that's when Jake ends up betraying. Betraying Josh, obviously. And ends up betraying Josh, obviously. Right? Ends up betraying Josh, obviously. And when and when Don meets Josh, Megan's every nature grows, and that's when that's when Don, that's when that's when Don and J Megan ends up M Megan ends up betraying Don obviously, because both Don and Josh are very unique obviously. Because before I wanted to call the movie he's unique, but my wife is unique too. It's not just me, man. My wife is also unique too. My wife is N obviously. Yes, I'm the main show because I'm God obviously, but VJ is very special too. VJ is N. VJ is very special too obviously. Obviously, right? As there's the reason why you guys stalk her social media every day because VJ is very special obviously. I'm saying, I know you guys watch my videos more than her videos because I'm smart because my videos are more interesting, obviously. Don't hate me, VJ. But VJ is obviously very special too, hence why what? You guys tune into both our lives every day, obviously. But because I'm a sabotage bomb, the only thing you get you can get of Ivan is, is, is sabotage videos on YouTube. You see my point here? My idea for that movie is um Megan flies in a plane. She's testing her best best friend Megan, obviously. And her and her and her what? And her family, her possessed family, and then the flight attendant, the flight attendant, and the flight attendant, she's what? The flight attendant, she's staring at what? She's, she's, she's staring at Dawn, and she's giving Dawn all these dirty things. Because the visa you're seeing in the future is going to be the smoking hot video of the glowing beauty, obviously. The flight attendant's giving Vijay all these dirty stares, Dawn all these dirty stares. It's a foreshadowing of the story because Dawn is very unique, obviously. And the moment Vijay, the moment Dawn walks to the airport, everyone in the airport 
is staring at Dawn because Dawn is very unique, obviously. And they're all jealous of her beauty, obviously. See what I'm saying here? I'm going to have the same thing with Josh. When Josh hangs out with Jake, everyone at the beach is staring at Josh because Josh is so handsome. You're going to see me with my lemon tree. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we can see the future. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know how top notch of a movie you're looking at. You're going to see VJ, how beautiful she looks. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see how handsome I look. You're going to see how, oh my God, look at I and VJ, the love romance. You're looking at an amazing story for that. Obviously. Right? And pretty much what? Um, that's a full, Don and Josh meet, and then like, after they, after they meet, Don tells Josh where she works, and that's where Josh ends up meeting Don later on in the story, and Jake's like, hey, D Josh, who's that chick? Yeah, it's Don. That's when it's every nature's girls, I'm saying, and Megan's like, hey, Don, who's that man? It's like, that's Josh. Oh my god, that man is so what? That man is handsome. That's when they, they're both are every nature girls. And Josh is a virgin, and yet Jake has a girlfriend in track else, obviously. And even Jake's enemies in the relationship. It's a satchel to my life. You guys all had your makeout sessions with your boyfriends and girlfriends. I'm saying, all you Darcy people, you guys don't talk about. You guys had your makeout sessions, your girlfriends and Darcy. And while you guys had your moments, I, you, Ivan and Vijay are separate from each other because you guys are fucking selfish people and you're fucking crazy people. Ivan's a virgin. He's never been in a relationship before. And you want to, you guys had your moments with your boyfriends and girlfriends all to yourselves and wives and husbands. And Ivan, who's a virgin, you trap him with sharing your death when he's never been in a relationship with you guys are fucking crazy people. And so I'm making that real to show how crazy and psychotic you guys are. And you guys are nothing but a fucked up mess like me, man. You're fucking crazy people, obviously. Right? That's why you're looking at an amazing movie. Their unique, perhaps, might be the second best movie. You never know why. Holly Dodd, the greatest movie, most likely, better than that. The Hidden Valkyrie movie, Will Smith, he's most likely going to be the captain on the boat. He's going to be the captain on the boat. He's, he's most likely chosen for that movie. I want to pay him a nice $4 million for the role, a nice $17 million signing bonus, and a nice $24 million side star production, which is nice, obviously. And if his agents agree on my look, man, I'm not giving you a piece of royalty. If you don't like my offer, go back to Hollywood and we'll say you don't like my offer. Obviously. Hence why we're like, oh, I have not accepted your deal. Even though you agree, you're willing to pay a lot of money. Yes, even though I'm greedy, I'm willing to pay you a lot of money because I'm very, very generous, obviously. Right. And Mark Wahlberg, he's most he's most likely the other chosen actor. I want to pay him a nice thirty six million for the role, a nice twenty two million dollar salary, and a nice fourteen million dollar sign bonus, which is nice obviously. And if his agents agree, I might look man, you're not getting a piece of my royalties, you're not worth it. If you don't like my offer, go back to Hollywood, go back to me and say I'm getting inside attention. You don't want to be saved. Hence why we're like, I have an accept your deal. Even though you're generous, you're still gonna pay the yes. Even though I'm generous, I'm still gonna pay you a lot of money because I'm fucking generous, obviously. You're looking at an amazing story for that. Me and my wife get married. You know what I'm saying? We go on this, uh, this honey, honeymoon boat cruise with newlywed couples and the boat capsulizes and we land some serious on. We find out that there's vampires that we're going to kind of amazing story for that. And our friends are doing an investigation in Los Angeles where the boat crash. You know what I'm saying? They find out there's just there's legends of a mysterious island. Yeah, and that's when they end up rescuing us. It's kind of amazing story for that. Let's see. And last but not least, Charlotte Boff and Leo Capper, those are most likely, likely the two chosen actors for my wife. From my Western gangster movie. I'll pay Charlie Buff a nice 50 million for the role if he's a small age. So if he's a bigger age so by then he's worth like 70 million, I'll pay him like 70, 80 million for the role. And that's like five, six million dollars salary, which is nice. Salary. Five, six million dollar bonus. Lena Arnold Cap will want to pay him a nice 39 million for the role around there. 50 million dollar sign bonus and that's like 24 million dollar salary, which is nice, obviously. And if his agent's greedy, he's not getting a piece of my royalties. He's not worth it. You gotta let these actors know, man, you're not getting a piece of my royalties. Even though me and V are gonna sign that big ass contract with Amazon. Biggest movie contract ever. These actors are not worth me and my wife's royalties. You have to let them know that, obviously. As they are not worth me and my wife's royalties. You have to let these actors know that. See what I'm saying here? You have to let these actors know that, obviously. See what I'm saying here? Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my video tomorrow while we continue my Lord of the Rings read along. I promise for the fingers I'll read that, but I'll, read, I'll continue my chapter 11 read along. Continuation of the I'm Mary. I'm signing out. Peace.